So we have Boss Cobell right here in the front and sun, fun in the sun in the back. I have these two growing in a uh, small pot for almost two years now. It just uh, These two just take forever to get going but it looks like they are finally um, putting on a lot of growth since last year. I think that's because we had a lot of um, tough weather last year too between drought and then we had freeze in December. The weather has been pretty extreme last year but they are finally taking off which I am very excited about. So I am going to plant these two. I don't I am not quite sure on the spot yet as, as far as where to plant them. I don't think I will grow them in pots but maybe um, in bottomless pots but we'll see. I'm still debating since I have a few roses that need home and I have to decide where to put them. They are so pretty. And Bosco Bell has another bud over here. And I have Bordeaux over here too that ready to bloom again. It has many buds on there. So let me walk around to show you what I have blooming now. Not a whole lot. Looks like they are ready to put on um, another flush. Most of them. This one is April Love which is very fragrant. I have had this one for almost uh, three years and it's growing like a clamber. Right now not a whole lot going on. Just a few flowers here and there. But it's definitely um, having a feel in the making right now and this one is polka which is also a clamber pretty color I almost got rid of the uh, this bud because it show a lot of drip damage but I'm glad that I didn't throw away because it's still looking pretty good and if you remember this corner, so I have Plum Perfect, which is ready to go again. And I have Bosco Bell, another Bosco Bell over there that has quite a few buds. Desdemona and Roald Dahl. Over here, I think it just finished the first flush of the year. It still has some more blooms. And I have Batsheba over there, which is putting on a lot of growth this year and has had a few blooms already. So I'm going to train that cane that is sticking up really tall, waiting for it to, to get a little longer before I attach to, the, um, to that lattice. And right over here, I have different veggies and herb, but look at these cuties. These are um, the colors not as accurate. It's deeper in pink, like darker pink in real life. They are, um, these are miniature rose that my husband got me one year for Valentine's. And I grew them inside a house for, um, I grew this one inside a house for a long time until it finally got powdery mildew and all that so I finally moved it out to grow outside and it stays uh, pretty small it is really cute like really teeny tiny little bloom and over here I have Lady of the Mist this rose is almost three years old this one t took forever to finally get going it, it black spots so bad so so bad in the first two years 
this year's black spot too but not as bad but before that oh my gosh i think this one is like the worst when it comes to black spot in my in my garden and i move it so many times so many times until it's finally here in this forever spot in the garden and right over here this one david austin Silla Manor, I think that's how you pronounce it. Look how many buds they are. Ready to go crazy on this one. This one has been a very good rose. So many buds. And let me show you over here. This is Crazy Love. It's getting crazy big and tall. I just pruned one. Um, cane over there is like super tall and this is the flower it's kind of flat it's uh, unique and over here we have um, earth angel aren't these pretty it's like cluster of beauty right here really really cute like globla shape super cute and that's how big the bush has been this one is about one year old since I planted since I planted last year last spring this one double easy orange that's earth angel and I have lilies that ready to explode over here I have distant drums that is ready to put on another show again it has been so prolific so far this spring look at how many flowers that are about to explode I am amazed that it has so many buds I'm so excited to to see and right over here my favorite yellow sparkle and shine this one has a lot of buds as well and right over here I have Princess Charlie in the Monaco so the first flush was totally totally ruined by the thrips like I cannot really enjoy any flowers from that flush so this one I thought that they would be bad too because the outside look pretty rough by the thrips but I let open anyway I'm so glad that I didn't throw away because the blooms still look pretty nice really pretty looking pretty good and I have all dressed up over here all green and nice and right over there I have Evelyn which grows like a clamber and I just bend the canes over and attach with a bamboo stick to hopefully promote lateral growth on there so we'll see this one I had to cut down really really hard after the freeze I thought that I would lose it because I literally had to cut down so much but it came back really strong looking really good so that's the garden tour for May and I will do another update later on